Welcome back. So I finished cutting my block and I know it's hard to see the pattern. Again, if you tilt the block so that light comes down from above and kind of rakes across it, you might be able to see the lines that I cut. Now those are gonna be lines that do not print. So they're gonna be the white color of this printing paper, okay? And I'm gonna start out by taking this and putting it face down in the sheet of the, right in the middle of the sheet of printing paper. And with a nice sharp pencil, I will carefully trace around. So the point of the pencil goes right up to the edge of the vinyl block. And I'm gonna indicate T for top just very, very lightly. This is gonna help with what's called registration later on, especially important if you're printing more than one color. If you're only printing a single color, you don't have to do that. Now I've got over here a bench hook and it's got some ink already on there. It was dried out, so I'm kinda, of, I spritzed it with a little alcohol. I'm rehydrating that. Here's some printer's ink right here. And I'm gonna squeeze out a bead of the ink. A bead in art is a line. And you don't need very much. That might be an inch and a half, that might be two inches, but not very, very much. I have my bench hook, I have my brayer, and here comes another tool called a baron. And we're gonna use all these tools right now. So on my bench hook, I have my ink. I'm gonna take my brayer and gently spread it out. And you notice how I lift the roll on the brayer so I can get ink to hit all portions of that. And I'm gonna go gently back and forth this way. You don't need to go clear out to the edges. The idea is to keep the ink on the bench hook. Try not to get the ink on other things. If you need to be wearing an apron to protect your clothing, we have lots of aprons. So very, very gently moving the ink around. As I, as I uh, spread it out, it will tend to dry out. So I've gotta be a little careful about that. That's probably enough ink there for one or two good prints. This is looking okay here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink my block. And again, just gently transferring the ink to the block, not to the table, but the block. So I'm kind of being very careful not to roll off the block onto the table. Now you can see much more clearly now, the image emerge, the white areas, the light areas where I cut, those will not print. But the areas that I did not cut, well, those areas will print. So I think I have a nice layer of ink there. And I'm gonna put the brayer back down to the bench hook so the brayer does not go onto the table. I have a sheet of paper here with my lines already on it, very carefully holding by the back side or by the edges. You can see how I'm holding so my fingers don't get too messy. I'm going to align my corners with the pencil marks and I'm gonna do that carefully as I can. Okay, press down and then turn this over. So again, underneath, the image is facing upward. Take my barren, very slippery surface there, and gently rotate it and press down at the same time. So this is exactly how you handle the barren. Not wild and crazy, but a controlled movement round and round and round, applying gentle pressure. I'm gonna peek in just a moment to see if I've been able to carefully and cleanly and crisply transfer that image to the paper. If I have been able to do that, I don't need to do any more rubbing. So let me just put the baron down out of the way. I'm gonna lift up and just check the transfer. It looks pretty good there. Let's check this side. See, I don't take the paper all the way off until I'm kind of sure of myself. Looks pretty good. Now I do see one problem and that's a little bit of misalignment. I didn't quite get to my pencil lines like I thought I was gonna do, but that's okay. Now that I know that, when I, if and when I do my second color for you in a little bit, um, that means I'm gonna have to wash this and do some additional cutting on it and print in a second color on top of my first, uh, then I'll be good to go. Now, there are areas here, like the eyes, that look kind of weak to me. And so it could be that I might wash my block right now, soap and water, and then pat it dry, and do that additional cutting right now. The teeth, I think, are okay. The background, maybe I'll take that out there. I don't know. Not sure I like that crack in the skull. Now, of course, with my second color, I might be doing some additional changes too. But this gives you an idea of what your image is gonna look like. If you wanna make changes right now based upon this very first print, you be sure and wash your block, soap and water, pat it dry. When it's dry and when it's clean, that's when you can cut back into it. Don't be trying to cut back into it with, their, with paint on there, with ink on there, okay? I don't wanna see that. We don't need to be getting ink or paint on any of our cutting tools, all right? Now, you try.